All right, guys, you ready for this? I think I'm ready. The only question is, are you guys ready? Oh, yep, that's good. That works. No, wait. See, this makes a 6-6, a six, six, which is very significant because we're doing three bonus attacks. Thank you, RuDog, for 25 months. Welcome back, RuDog. Oh, gee, viewer, coming back just in time for the combo. What's going on, everybody? It's Surprise. So today we are doing another episode of PVZ Heroes Ohio Mod. Today... I wanted to try a really cool combo. It is an all-out ramp deck to Cornucopia. Cornucopia, unlike in regular PPC Heroes, this one makes every single plant uh, cost five or more. So it's always going to be a very strong field. And then the win condition is going to be Espresso Fiesta that all plants do three bonus attacks. You're going to have a whole field and you finish them off with the Espresso Fiesta. Now, um, the, the, the cool thing about this deck is that this is basically the only win condition. The rest of the deck is all about controlling and ramping. There's a lot of very powerful control and ramp cards. We'll go through them one at a time. The Colonel Pult, um, if you can put this on top of another team-up evolution, then it basically makes everything on the other side of the field get minus 50 attack. Otherwise, when played, a zombie just gets something, minus something, one, something minus one. Gabriel Galactic. He wanted a shout-out, I guess. Um, thank you, Crimpton. So we have a lot of team up ramp cards. You got the one cost, uh, one cost twin sunflower that gives you two extra sun. You have primal sunflower, which is two cost and gives you four. It's a zero one. Uh, we're controlling with cabbage pole. It's decent stats on heights, but mostly you're running this for the two superpowers, which should help you control your opponent. Uh, the sun shroom is interesting. It gives you it's two for two, but it turns into a sunny shroom, which is going to be. Uh, seven costs and it's gonna give you five it, it has seven health and gives you five cent every single turn so this can ramp up very quickly uh, to your cornucopias if you can get that developed uh, so each of the ramp cards sort of have their own plus and minuses cosmic sunflower is here as a control card it's a deadly plant so you can just stick this in front of whatever you want uh, and it will actually conjure some more deadly flowers to be able to play around the field and control your opponent we got whack a zombie very efficient uh, removal as long as the zombies have five or less uh, we are running one copy of this. It's not a ramp card, but it's this is based on the Sunflower from Battle for, for, for neighbor, Neighborville. I don't actually know what all the abilities of this card are because they float off the bottom. They really need to make this more concise here, but it conjures Heal Beam. I don't know what that's. Uh, sunny Side Up is like there's going to be healing. Um, so that's going to be at the start of every turn. There's going to be a big field heal for six. That should help control Sunbeam. It does 8 damage here, so I guess it's going to like damage, I guess, either the opponent's face or the zombie that's here. Uh, it's also a team up, Bullseye. Uh, running Squash, which is an automatic field clear, destroy all zombies, and then of course you have your Cornucopia and your Espresso Fiesta. Let's get right into the games. These games are going to take forever, so we're definitely only going to do 8 games today. Of course, this is Ohio mod, so we are going to be playing against the... Uh, opponents. There was a thing the last time we did Ohio mod that all the opponents had 20 health. I think now they're gonna have 50 since I renamed the game file to 359 and before importing it and it looks like that's working. All right, so let's do bets. Um, this is actually gonna be a very difficult deck to win with because it needs to really ramp. There isn't a whole lot of OP stuff that are happening until, you know, 10 sun, which is difficult. Let's go for the 6 out of 8. I think that's pretty fair. So if you think this deck will win 6 out of 8 games, but yes, 5 out of 8 is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry them up. And in terms of as far as starting hand goes, you have your win condition cards. I wonder if it's worth keeping Espresso. I think this is going to be a little bit too late to keep. I'll keep the Cornucopia, though. We have something to ramp to. Uh, we'll figure out how the Sunflower works. This is a weird superpower. So start of turn, the weakest zombie gets minus 3, minus 3, and the strongest plant gets plus 2, too. So that's happening again. For the rest of the game at the start of turn. So do I want to ramp? If I play this next turn, I'll have four sun, which doesn't really help. So I'm just going to play this. And uh, this will come into effect, you know, every single start of turn. So that should give us an advantage here. So again, this one's going to give us four extra. I have no idea what this gravestone is going to be. I think I'm just going to spam two twin sunflowers. That will ensure that even if it's a sumo, one of them will live. Uh, so we'll just spam them here and here. It's a pirate. 
it's just gonna become a 4-4. It's actually gonna become a 1-1 now. Because our superpowers can reduce this, and then we're also gonna get a buff. I think it's minus 3-3 three, three for him and minus 2-2. Two, two, it's plus 2-2 two, two for me? Oh! They both got buffed. Maybe because they were equal in strength, they both got... That's cool. That's crazy. So this looks like a 10-10, but the anti-hero adds health. So it's actually just a 1-1 one, one if we stick something in front of that. Um, this is looking pretty good. So before combat here, do 5 damage to all plants here and next door, then destroy itself. So anything we play here is going to die. I think that for that reason, I'm going to play... I'm going to play this here. Uh, it does something when played. So again, conjures a heal beam at the start of turn and when played. So let's see what heal beam does. Gets healed for one eight times draw a card. And it's it targets something, okay? And we also draw from that. That's cool. So I think I'm just going to stick like this card here. It'll die to the imp, but it's okay. It'll prevent 10 damage to face. So worth it. Uh, we're going to be ramping to a lot here now. So this conjured a heal beam. It attacked. I don't know. I think before combat it did 8 damage. Pretty sure that's how it worked. So some beams before combat here. So before combat it does 8. Just, it does, just shoots 8. It has a free attack. And then it just attack face for 1. And start a turn, it made another heal beam. It looked like when it attacked... We have three heal beams now, so it feels like when it attacked, it also made a heal beam. But what do I know? Okay, so we really want to try to ramp up the... This will be doing 80... Oh, here, now you can see all the text. Um, I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna let whatever this is hit our face. Oh, the, the anti-hero killed that, so this... Sunflower actually should have gone here. Oh, and I don't have enough to play any more ramp. Whoops. That's probably a misplay. I probably should have just played the ramp cards. Frenzy and 1-2. Who cares? So that's cool. This is doing a lot of bullseye. Because that shot of 8 is actually just going face since there's no zombie here. So it looks like these sunflowers can actually pack a punch. <laughs> Pepper MD is the same in Ohio. I think it grows by, like, instead of 2-2, two, two, it grows by 3-3. Three, three. There's also, like, really cheap Allosauruses and stuff. Okay, these heal beams are <laughs> a little bit excessive here. Uh, it also is heal. It's so cool. So this is, these cards heal so much. Um, I'm gonna just spam these, man. There's nothing to heal, so we can't even... <laughs> we can't even play these. These heal beams are just clogging our hands. Terrify... Let's see what this does. It just makes that zero attack. I don't care. I think we could actually win games with just the sunflowers. The sunflowers are doing a lot of bulls of this guy's not getting... But I can't... This is a problem. I can't heal. I need to get rid of this stupid card. This is stupid, man. I can't even play it because everything's for his full health. <laughs> I don't want heal beam. Okay, anyway, we can play Cornucopia. It's just gonna make one minion, but who cares? It looks like sunflowers are gonna be- oh, wait. This is team up? Oh, this is team up. Okay, it doesn't really matter, because this makes plants in team up lanes. So this will actually make two plants. So that's awesome. Survey says! Potatosaurus. Conjures us. Says this gets 2 2 for each other plant and zombie and then also deals direct face damage. I'm pretty sure Grizzly Pear doesn't do anything, yeah? It's just a 5 5 4. Make a random zombie in three lanes. Great. Well, they're just gonna get blown. <laughs> what is. What is this? Plague Doctor? So he did three to his own guy and made it grow, but th these guys are just gonna blast through. Yeah, easy. Anyway. <laughs> that worked pretty well. They got the ramp going. The sunflower is kind of carried. They did most of the damage. The opponent never blocked that whole game because the sunflower just did so much bullseye. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, it just we got milled so hard though from the stupid heal beams. <laughs> what is this? It's a random battle. Uh 
okay so we definitely don't count again these games since i'm not using the deck I, I like playing one let's see what this is like this used to be the opponent always had a hector and one on turn two i'm assuming they finished it so i'm kind of curious to see what they did with this do three damage Ooh, that's cool this banana card seems garbage other plants here next door frenzy and four times the damage oh we got the banana synergy let's go Look at the banana deck. Alright, let's hope that it's not just Hector's. This game will not count win or loss. Wait! Oh, they passed. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna play this. It'll work with the Umbrella Leaf. Because plants here and next door do four times damage. Did that give him Hector's though? Why did my cards die? Well, I oh my god, so Eureka does something that kills your cards. I don't know exactly what it was. They changed the Eureka around. Anyway, let's just stick this here and hope for the best. Looks like the opponent's deck is just all Eurekas. They're 30, huh? Don't really get it. No Hector. No Hector. Okay. This is gonna give the card frenzy and also four times damage. Um, might as well do this. Now it is Hector. So what's the? And it does 175 to fix. I, I what? The, why did they not? Ch I gave the benefit of the doubt that they remove this stupid random battle. But what? You're supposed to win on turn two? That's the thing. I don't like it. It doesn't make sense. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I, I like to actually play some games with my actual deck I won today. So, so yeah, we're going to wait to be Chumzilla here. There you go. Why would they keep that in the game? I don't understand. They like made these challenges. That should be the top priority to remove. Okay, so we have some ramp and some control. I think this is good. Keep a cornucopia? Why not? It's our wing condition. A plant gets strike through draw cards. It's like a lame superpower. No, the the the, the battles where we don't use our deck never count. It's Richard Simmons. So we can ramp now, and this will give us four next turn. On the other hand, he does have an environment. I I'm going to go and play this on Heights. So we're going to get a 3-7. And we'll get two superpowers. This should come in handy. So this is just normal Beta Caratina. Complete garbage. And this is... So Uncrackable shuffles more Uncrackables into your deck. He, like, uses one of his superpowers on that. That's okay. This just grew by 1-1, one, one, though. <laughs> Richard Simmons not getting it done. So, I think the play is going to be... We'll grab the Richard Simmons over here. And we will begin to ramp. It doesn't really matter what lane we play this in. Do 2 damage to everyone. Okay, great. <laughs> Set your hero to... 50 and then gain like these superpowers. Z-Mech is like based on again the Z-Mech from Garden Warfare 2 or Battle for Neighborville. I don't remember which one had Z-Mech on. The plan and its copies get 2 2. These are really bad super superpowers. It's a starter trick stun all plants. So we have to. How do we. We have to kill this using a trick, which is super annoying. So I'm going to play, I guess I'll play one, just to prevent the damage here. We'll draw some cards, and we actually get two plus one, which is really nice. We're getting stunned, we can't do any damage, but this will help us ramp a lot. So we got it going, we'll put the one with higher health in the front. And the opponent's, you know, doing a little damage to us, but then drawing zeros. We're making a lot of sun here, though. We're making two, and two. So we're up to nine. The squash is good. Squash is playable. 
We got squash plus something into cornucopia next turn. That should be great. Squash and then twin sunflower. Look at the squash. I'll take it. What? We'll see if he has an answer to this. Good old squash. All plants take damage. One damage eight times. <laughs> I think Chomzilla has the worst superpowers in the game, and then Zemek has the best in Ohio. Uh, I mean, I feel like we're the ones getting controlled. We got Heal Beam. It's so important to have Heal Beam. Ah, oh, let's play this forever. Let's see how Zemek controls us on turn six. Deal 7 damage all plants here next door. Okay, well, if I knew that was a thing, I would have spread them out, but... Welcome to Ohio. So we'll do it like this now. Brain freezes superpower, I think, like, freezes the whole field now. Everything. So he's Emex Super that. He just has so many superpowers. <laughs> okay. Yay, Monster Mash. Hopefully it doesn't get anything too busted. Oh my gosh, he got this on heights, which is hilarious. So doing a lot of damage to us. This one is whenever we're hurt, we get the empty, so it works in like every lane. That's crazy. We're gonna somehow this is five or less, and he has nothing with five or less in the field. So let's start prioritizing this. Uh, there's three. Hopefully, these all get deadly. So again, Armored 1, Team Up Amphibious, Dino War, make a weed in a random lane. Does this work? If this works, this is going to be super valuable. Cactus is uh, also a plant based on, I guess, Garden Warfare 2. Okay, so before combat here, make Johnny. Here, I think if we do it like this, in front. After combat here, do a 360 no-scope. Dealing 10 damage to a random zombie. Or the zombie hero. End of turn, make a potato mine in three random lanes. <laughs> Before combat here, make a Johnny in front. I, it, it's some kind of barrier. This will probably be really good here. It can also go 3 plus 3. Uh, this 4 health, 5 health doesn't really work anywhere. We have to, we have ways of drawing cards, though. We can actually make three weeds um, by doing this and then a couple of heal beams. Cactus lane one. And then... And then... I mean, we're not gonna die here, right? The problem is, if he has a trick that does 7 damage, which he probably does, then we're screwed. I think in order to survive, we actually have to do this. Let's see if weed actually works, though. So it's gonna be you. And then we're gonna use... This. Hopefully this Dino Roar actually activates. Yes, it does. And now, I'm, I'm guessing that... Oh, but it doesn't get deadly. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, but we're, we'll get two more... Two more weeds now. We can actually use this. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this will make two more. We can actually use use the uh, a plan and all of its copies get two two. That'll be good later. So we're making a lot of weed. Didn't block lane four. When revealed, do two damage to everything. So that's a lot of armor. That's good. No, but then our oh, three damage to everything. Uh, <laughs> one of them survives. Plan on heights, move to lane two. Oh, gosh. Well, we're not gonna end up with a block meter anyway. <laughs> Turn nine, we're almost up to cornucopia. <laughs> Why does everything have more than five attack? All right, I don't really have much of a choice at this point, so we're gonna have to do this. And this. And, uh... I think we just heal and hope for the best. No point in strike through. Oh no, we don't have any more heal beams. So I'll plant and 
its copies get 2-2. Two, two. Probably, if he's doing 8 and 6, is 14, 15, 16. Um... <laughs> this end of turn make potato marks? <laughs> I think this one not dying is probably really important. We'll give this strike through on it. Well, I should have drawn the card first. But... So we're kind of bricked with all of our late game. Yes! Okay, so that makes a juggernaut in front. Clank. Get, kill something. It went face. Great. <laughs> no block meter. Deadly though, so the Viking finally dies. And we're set up pretty nicely for the... Uh... We also got potato mines. <laughs> With the team up playing great. Oh, I was supposed to make three potato mines. Why did it only make two? Uh oh. Three damage for each dancing. Oh, come on, man. Double flamenco on turn 10 when we have cornucopia. Great. Wow. Wow. <laughs> ZMX so tough. His superpowers are so good. That's rough, man. This is a non. Non contest. Um, this looks fun though. Bruh. Should have played around turn 10 double. Play. There's no way for me to play around that. I did everything I could. I still have no regrets on the weed play. Um. Alright, this looks okay. The hammers were kind of useless because he had so many big cards on the field. So 1-5 heads some cover that gives a 2-2 two -two buff. <coughs> God damn it, Flamenco. Then he goes to Fishium, okay. So we'll play this on Heights. So it gives us... Turn 3 we'll have 5. And then the next turn we're gonna have like... Turn 4... We'll have 9 already. Cause this one will give us 5 extra, that's great. Uh, looks like we're gonna hammer time here. Yay! Give him one of these. Welcome to the new people. Uh, we have double sunflower. We don't really... <laughs> we can also buff the sunflowers. I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's, uh, the sunflowers are gonna be stupid. We're gonna give him one of these. Maybe I'll protect the sunflower. Yeah, that, was, that makes more sense. This goes here. Heal beams. It's gonna be the heal beam story again. <laughs> and then we'll buff, we'll use this on the sunflowers. I think this is good value. Plan and its copies get two too. It'll give both of these some extra. Extra sheesh! This anti-hero, it's so bad. So th these both die to the sunbeam. And then we, we do three. We're also making heal beams. <laughs> they make three! They make one when you play it. They make one when they do da- Whenever they do damage they're making, and they're doing two damage per turn. This is the problem! This card is so- Listen, the card says it makes sun. It ma sorry, it makes heal beam start a turn and when played. It doesn't say when it does damage, but in fact, it does conjure a heal beam when it does damage, and the sunbeam is doing damage. So it's doing damage two times per turn, and then you get a third one at the beginning of the turn, and you also get one when play. I don't even know what's going on, man. What the heck happened here? <clears throat> Make a graveyard here. End of turn. This turns into a gravestone. When revealed, this comes out as a different zombie and keeps the ability. Lame. And I can't because they're healing, so I can't even get... This is such a bad... <laughs> they have to fix this. Purple, green. Please listen. This is important. It's not. Just make fewer sunbeams. Make one per turn. Just make one when played and one at the beginning of each turn, it's enough. It doesn't have to make one every single time. Look, every time it does damage, it makes one. <laughs> and it makes one at the beginning of the turn, too? Yeah, uh... No, it does the heal at the beginning of the turn. Okay, it doesn't make a sunbeam at the beginning of the turn, but still, it's making two. It's too many. Okay, well, pass. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, good card, but <laughs> it's got stupid. <laughs> yeah, I just want other card. <laughs> now I'm permanently milled. Permanently milled. This is not okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll be at 50 health and slowly grind this guy down, but that's not really what I wanted to do today. All zombies do a bonus attack. End of turn bounce, three plants on. Wait, zap. I can't even conjure anything. Yay, we're middle! <laughs> hey, if we actually take damage, though... Oh, all three of these are getting bounced. Well, watch our hand, guys. This is gonna be fun. Here comes our hand. <laughs> No, I can't even- oh, here, I can see the sunflower, it's here. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. We'll get one of these. We'll squash, I guess. And then we'll play this card. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still milled. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and we can't play the heal booms because we're healing. <laughs> back up, back up to 50. <laughs> and we can't draw cards because it's just heal beams. <laughs> All zombies do bonus attack. Who cares, bro? I don't care. Eight damage and then one bullseye <laughs> slowly crushed. <laughs> Wait, I think we can use a heal beam on the on the on this one because it only. Wait, it's an AOE heal for five or six. Oh, it's six. God damn it. All right, we're soft locked. <laughs> no, they just messed up the coding. It's not even supposed to do this. It started turn and went play. That makes sense. But instead, they programmed Heal Beam to conjure every time it does damage, which is twice as often. <laughs> I mean, the moment I take any damage, I'll be able to, like, draw infinite cards, but. La 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 la. la. <laughs> I think I'm gonna switch out the sunflower for a different card though after this game because this is just this is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> I mean it's Ohio, what do you expect? Pass. Turn to we have 22 sun, don't even ask. It's turn 12, I guess. Please, uh, every time he plays a card it just gets zapped. For free, so we're, we're, I mean, we're not gaining card advantage because we're not gaining cards. So this could theoretically go on forever until the opponent decks out. <laughs> that would be funny. Guys, that would be really funny if we won this game from the opponent playing one card per turn and then decking out. That would actually be, be hilarious. The problem is they're losing one health every single turn, so now we, we basically we win in five turns. We just gotta keep pressing that pass button. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Look at our, look at our health. And our block meter is not okay. Not even close to okay. <laughs> Alright, four. <laughs> Count it down with me, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go to three. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> there are three now. I'm still 50 health. Yeah, just keep playing one card per turn. Smelly zombie, doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't have nine health, it always dies. Alright. Two! Count it down with me, chat! <laughs> He's gonna top deck Hector somehow. And beat us because we're milled. Uh, <laughs> what? I wonder what this last card he's holding in his hand for the last 12 turns. I wonder what this is. What could it be that he didn't play it? It's not a zombie and it's not a trick. I have no idea what it is. Alright guys, one last turn. Oh, he finally played in a different lane. The man is going face. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going face, finally. That, I think the AI like realizes they're dead no matter what, so it just makes a random play. That's the only explanation I can find to why he actually went face finally, but turn he was gonna die no matter what. Anyway. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna switch her up. Do a little switcheroo here. 
Hey, we can run onion rings. It'd be pretty good. Yeah, that's sick. Kind of boring. Is this card fun? Dino Roar? Should we do the Chomper instead? Alright, we'll go with Chomper instead. It's another... We'll substitute our Garden Warfare characters. Okay, go Chomper! New deck, guys. New deck, new life. The Chompers are gonna win. I, I don't really fully understand what Chomper does, but I'm sure we'll have it. It's really, like, half of the win condition in this deck, so we'll have some opportunities to really see what this does. We're not doing this again. This is definitely not half. We're not doing the Brainstorm thing. Brainstorm with the... You have to win by turn two. This deck can't win by turn two. Bro! I want to use my own deck. Uh, all right, brain freeze. Oh, we're finally seeing corn. We haven't even seen this at all. Corn hump is here. A planket strike through draw a card. A lame. Bro, my gosh. So I'm pretty sure these lunch boxes cost zero. This is actually going to do a lot of damage. So, we can't do anything about the lunch boxes. I should probably play this, though, right? I don't think I cover. I have to get rid of this card. <laughs> It's not really worth covering it, though. We're gonna do this to block the damage. It doesn't have to be played on heights. We have to get rid of that so he doesn't have infinite lunch boxes. And then we'll just play this, like, here. Lunch. Lunch. It's not gonna do damage. No, it does zero. Thank you! We got out of turn ones, so we're doing pretty good. Wait. It says permanent buffs? I didn't realize this gets permanent buffs! Oh no. Oh no, I should have killed this when I had the chance. Okay, well, it's it's not too late. We can go like this. Maybe, first of all, maybe we'll get something from you. I'm gonna have to use, like, one of these corns. So I guess I'm using a corn on the twin sunflower. I mean, this wins the trade either way. Let's see what we get. So, Weed Whack is three random zombies get minus three. And this is make three shrimp for twos in random lanes. It means we can maintain the ramp if we want. Alright, this is pretty good. Because <laughs> we have the extra team ups now. <laughs> this doesn't really matter where it goes, so we'll give this one the extra nerf. It actually does zero this turn, which is kind of funny. And then this has zero attack. Everything is so weird if you're just- some people just joining the stream not knowing what's happening, but this is a modded version of PvZ Heroes, which we call Ohio Mod. Well, we don't really have anything. <laughs> Guess we're just passing. It's okay, we're stalling for Cornucopia. Two random zombies get minus health and plus attack. That's cool. <laughs> like steroids. <laughs> they get extra attack, but they lose health. Bounce two random plants. That is fine. Can I have my uh, cabbage pulled back? Okay. Permanent buffs on the galley. <laughs> Such a good card. Zero cost, and it just spirals out of control. Now, the good news is we have Cornucopia. Um, I think we're gonna save this still for like next turn. So we'll give him one of these just to prevent damage. And we'll hit him with this to kill the Yeti. I'll play this card. 
get some extra ramp so we can get this Cornucopia at some point. Again, the lunch boxes buff this a lot. We can use the kernel like after all these buffs have taken place because it gives it like minus 51 health. Well, minus 51 attack. So as long as he doesn't, you know, have frenzy and bonus attack here, which is not gonna happen. We're in pretty good shape. We actually have enough sun for cornucopia, but no board space for it, so. Aha, chomper. Uh actually I only have nine. We'll have it next one. So we want some things to die. <laughs> um, we really want board space, but letting this just live is probably too risky, right? I think let's just do it like this. It kills the dog. Okay, you're dead. Wait! Oh, it actually grew. Oh, it's good, so it kills the corn. Well, I should have put the- well, well... Uh, there probably was a better play. Okay, there's- <laughs> there's block acid rain. Okay, this is fine. Cornucopia time, let's go. I think this grows every single time it hunts. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. Alright, so... <laughs> so... Cornucopia? Let's go. These will be making three cards that cost five or more suns. This should be a really strong board. And we got complete garbage. What do you know? It says anti-hero. Who cares? We want to give a card strike through and draw a card. Okay. Go Cornucopia. So, so yes! We got Espresso, guys! We're going to pull off the combo. Destroy three end of plants. Uh oh God damn it! <laughs> You've got, like... Two of the best ones. It's okay. Guys, we're good. We have espresso. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna go 2 and 11. And we have a superpower. Maybe we'll get like a plant from a superpower and do some extra bonus attacks here. Alright guys, you ready for this? I think I'm ready. The only question is, are you guys ready? Oh, yep, that's good. That works. No, wait. See, this makes a 6-6, si a six, six, which is very significant because we're doing three bonus attacks. Thank you, Rudog, for 25 months. Welcome back, Rudog. Oh, G viewer, coming back just in time for the combo. Go, Espresso, attack! Bomb the way! Oh, so it does three different attack phases. It's not like three attacks and then three and then three. No. Uh, they're getting frozen, so that's going to wipe one bonus attack off the board for the entire thing. But I think that's okay. I think we're still okay. Freeze, freeze, and yeah. Uh, uh, no, it's not lethal! How is it not lethal? Uh, well, the opponent didn't have anything, so we'll win here. Alright. We did it, boys! We did it. Hell yeah. We got ourselves a highlight intro. Cornucopia Espresso Fiesta. That is what we have come here today to do. That's why we have gathered here today. Dearly beloved. Go. Why well, it's called siesta? I don't know. That's how like Americans. That's what they call a nap. Apparently, it's a Spanish word, but I don't. I don't know. I, I have a very close um, person in my life from Mexico who says that siesta doesn't really mean anything <laughs> in Spanish. Uh, Americans use that word as a nap, though, like a mid-afternoon nap. Not really sure what the origin of that is. Okay. Oh, this is a. Wait, what the hell? Is this my deck, though? What is this garbage? It's a boss battle. Um, okay. I have to decide right here if I'm gonna count this game or not. Now, this is- we're in an interesting situation because it's one of these crazy boss battles. Yet, on the other hand, it is my deck. How is this fair? 
This guy has so many cards. How is this fair? Now, the cool news is, is that he only has one son, and I have a Colonel Pult. So, I think I'm gonna just count this game. This is kinda nuts. This is also gonna be making all the cards in our hand transform every turn, which is kinda cool. Uh, what does this card do? Start a turn, all plants here get 1-1. One, one. So we can totally... We can totally, like... Well, what does this do? This is amphibious, though. I think I'm gonna play this here, which basically deletes his field. If anything has two health, I'll go for that. It doesn't really matter which one we hit. Okay, I, I think his field is just gonna be useless and permanently frozen. And what else does the bog do? Zombies played here that aren't amphibious get destroyed. <clears throat> I don't think that's gonna be super useful, so I think I'll just cover this environment. What does this environment do, though? Oh, the raw zombie thing. Okay, so we'll cover this environment. Okay, that's the play. Oh! Wait. Start of a turn. All plants here. It says height, so we can't play it on height? Oh, we have to play it on the ground. Okay, great. So instead of taking... This is our environment. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we'll do it here. We can't do it here also, right? Okay, we'll do it here. Well, I, I guess I might as well just play one of these twin sunflowers. We'll be ramping to some stuff. Okay, we'll play this. Here. Let's see if he can at least transform the interdimensional zombie. No! I think we're good to go, because this... Of course you are. This guy's getting permanently frozen. Wait, what is... Oh, that went face. Thanks for getting out of the way. <laughs> really appreciate it. Oh, this will actually transform now, though. It'll turn into something, hopefully not too broken. Oh, god damn it. Holy... Oh, it's 32, 32. Hey, look what I found. We're also ramping, well, just a little bit. Oh, this, in this environment is already here. Oh, I didn't realize this already has a perfect paradise here. Uh, so we didn't have to play it. I didn't realize there was an environment. It's an invisible environment. Okay. Oh my gosh, you just gave everything frenzy. Um, so fusion, destroy a zombie here. And this is, if there's no zombies here, so he'll be making the raw zombie next turn. But I'm pretty sure this is the play to kill this wannabe hero, right? It's gotta be right. So it's like this. Why can't I? Wait. Fusion destroy a zombie here, so why can't I play this? I don't understand. I should be able to play this card, but I can't play it here anyway, so... This card is mislabeled. This has to cost more. This card actually costs three, even though it says two. So this is a mislabeled card. It costs three. It can't be. I, I can't play it in the empty lane either, so... Okay... I think we're alright? Because of the, 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 the melon pulse kind of saving us. The Viking is frozen. So that makes it. Oh, uh, it says frenzy though. Oh, the huge problem. The frenzy really screwed us up. So that's a little bit of a sad misprint. Oh my god, for real, bro. At least it's getting frozen now, but this does go space for 34. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> well, everything does get frozen. Permin permafrost on the board right now. But I don't I don't know how much this maybe we can play this for 3. It would be nice if we could actually play this. What did this do just now? Destroy the plant with the highest attacks and now we lost our permafrost. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. So now what do we do? We have to kill this guy, I guess. Well, 
I can't play this in the water. So this this is just gonna kill us. The Narvok is actually gonna kill us now. It's really sad that we're gonna lose the game on a glitch on this card that actually costs three. It's so freaking sad. See, we went from five down to two. This actually is a three cost card. It's so obnoxious. Wait, is there an environment here? All plants here receive two damage at the end of each one, so I guess we'll play this. Oh no! I'm such a dumbass. I played an environment which unfroze us, so yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm stupid. Yay! Don't count it. I said I was gonna count it, so listen, there's little mislabels and stuff. There's a lot of mislabels. I'm gonna I'm gonna count that as a loss. So we're gonna have to win a few straight games here in order for it to be a yes. Sorry guys. Alright, well, let's go. I think what I'll say though is from now on I'm only gonna play straight up battles. Nothing where there's a field already, you know what I mean? Like I'll I'll just play fair fair fights from now on. That was really busted though. That was a really unfair that he you know, we happened to get in our starting hand Colonel Polk, but without that, that was basically an impossible challenge, so. <clears throat> I think what would have happened is if we could have played the two cost Jack o' Lantern, that would have been the strongest guy, and then the Melon Polk would have lived an extra turn and actually killed the Narvok. I don't know the exact numbers, but. I feel like we were, it would have given our Melon Pult, which was really the card saving us. Uh, it would have given us something. Alright. So, that's a hand. These are very, very good cards. And we are going to start to ramp, and we got our Super, which seems to be one of the better cards here. Um, I didn't mean to play that, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Take it, I guess. See if he has infinity clones. Nope. Clock, watch out for Cuckoo Zombie. Okay. Uh, so that's rough because it's gonna draw three cards. Ugh. Ugh. So I could go for this, but then you know we're letting this hit our face. I really should just try to kill this now, right? Maybe I'll kill it and I'll ramp. That's probably the better play. So it's going to be you. I'm using two of these. It doesn't even kill it though, right? You can kill it next turn. I, I kind of need to establish some ramp. I don't really need to. Alright, let's see it like this. I'm wasting a lot of steam here. Oh, it does actually kill it by the end of this turn. Okay, that's right. It's minus two, minus one from the first one, and then one damage equals four. I think we're good to go. And the screw. Yeah. So this does three to everything. Uh, this should be worth it still. Oh, I didn't even look what those were. I should have looked at what they were, though. Four times a plant's stats. All zombies here next door have zero. It can't be affected by zombie tricks for one turn. Draw two turns. Should have thought about it. Of, of quadrupling the stats here. <laughs> Hammer looks decent. I can also do this for draw two. It'll do it like this. Cool. Then with the deadly control. Throwing some cards. Nice. Uh, Galactic being deadly is interesting because it field clears both sides of the board. Armored six, untrickable. That's cool. And we got co Cosmic Flower from Cosmic Flower. Awesome. That's super annoying. <clears throat> Hammer's still in play. That died from the ability. Don't really have an answer to you. 
When a plan is her, draw a card while in your hands or in play. This gets extra health, so we don't want our plants getting hurt. Uh, I get four times the stats of this. What is that going to be? Seven times four. 28. It'll be a 28-24. Which means we're basically two-shotting him. Could hammer next turn for the win. I could probably just try to ramp and squash. I think I'm going to hit him with this. Let's just ramp. I think I'm not going to play this card, though. Oh, can't anyway. So, Charcoal will go up to 7-8 when he draws a card. Who cares? Actually, 7-9, because I think it's when we draw a card also. That's nice. How are we up to 14 already? Oh, because this gives us four a piece. Oh, that's cool. So squash is a thing. Cornucopia is a thing. Um, <laughs> squash, then we'll have six left. We could go squash uh, soul patch. <laughs> Alright, cool. I don't know. Oh, does this draw the cards? I don't know. <laughs> Go so badge. <coughs> it gets six attack. Who cares? Oh no, it's gonna kill my soul patch though. God damn it. <laughs> it had ten attack and only had six armor. And we're back down to seven sun. I probably should just play the cornucopia, right? Okay. Garbage. Burrows before combat, spike weed, start a turn, goops a random zombie on Dino Roar. Alright, this looks good. We'll get the goop. Did two damage, please. Start of turn plants here, get one, two. Awesome. We got our chomper. Chomper strats going strong. So that burrowed. It doesn't do damage? What? It, so it never does, it never attacks, it never does damage. Wow, that's a pretty useless card. <laughs> Make spike weed here. We have an environment here, so I don't want to. Let's put some deadly field clear on the board. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. The chopper's pretty bad. Oh, here we go. So again, plant evolution, transform all plants into legendaries. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let's get some team-ups. Let's get some team-ups going here. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we put this on top of, right? Nope. We'll get three legendaries. Yes! Dragon! Right now! <laughs> ah, Ohio time, babies! Ah, oh, we're gonna win. Uh, God damn it, he blocked, okay? Not a bad reincarnation. And then it transforms everything in our hands. Yay, fun! I don't know what's going on here. Ah, uh, what shall we do? You guys want to see some beans? Beans! <laughs> This will be untrickable for the rest of the game. Oh, this is fun. Here, we'll play this. This. I think that's it. Uh, we can also hammer you, but... What's the point? I'm untrickable. Or invincible. We are protected. Yay. The bird, 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 good to bird, no word. Alright, we're four and two. We're making pretty good pace here for the six and two. Oh no, it's Z-Mac. Oh no, 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 this is a really hard hero. Best hero in Garden Warfare is best one in Ohio mod. I think that's how it works. The hammer was really bad last time we went against Z-Mac, so. And we end up with a terrible superpower. Oh, you're so 
Okay. Should I just do this already? I don't think so. We're gonna save this for emerging swaths. A little bit of rank. Be able to play our superpowers here, pretty good. What the hell? Minus two three on the ground. All plants get two four and are protected! We can actually like get like a field right now if we want to. I think I'm gonna cycle this for a card because I don't care. Uh we still could do this play. <laughs> We're gonna wait for like one more card. These will be three fives. And we'll be invincible this turn. And then this will be a this will be a, a two whatever. Two six. And this will go up by two attack. I'm gonna go with my gut that says don't waste these really valuable control cards. That's a six damage and three to everything else. Oh, it's a plant? Oh, it's not all plants. Sorry, my bad. I don't know why I thought it was everything. This is all zombies on the ground. We'll probably play this now. See, this this is weird, but it says conjure two superpowers, but th this only works when played on heights, I'm pretty sure. So now we can just do this. We'll see if he kills this, we'll get those superpowers. It's one plant. Word, word, word. We got some control. What the hell is that? Okay, so... Start a trick, stun all plants. <laughs> it's so annoying. So we have to spend corn to kill this or something, right? I think I'm just going to pass let this die so we can play the next Cabbage Bolt, but we definitely have to do something about that. <laughs> Feels like zombie superpowers are so much better. Okay. For fudge's sake, really, bro? Alright, let's see what we get. I think we're gonna start spending some corn now. Plants with three bonus attacks. Your hero can't be hurt this turn. Before damage to all zombies here next turn. Oh. That's exactly what I needed, actually. That's what I always want. Goodbye. Have a nice time. <laughs> Is it time to buff this card? Arcane and Gima. I don't know. I don't know what that was. It, it, it got the job done, though. <laughs> See? Now, now we're going to do some real plays. Uh, I'm not sure what they are yet. Hold on. I should ramp here. So the way we kill this is by playing one Colonel Bolt. I can also just play this card. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna play you. I'm saving the Colonel Bolts, they're so good. They're zero cost, just kill the guy, basically. I'll play this just to get the Conjures going. And uh, we're gonna have Cornucopia, I think. That's cool. Okay, we'll play this here. We gotta get the team ups. Team ups are very important. Yeah, I know. Dry coffee zombie, very sad. This will proc the block. Good value. And seven. Eight. Not. Oh, no, we don't have cornucopia. Wait. Oh, this gives four. I, I'm always confused, but Bible gives four. So we do, in fact, have cornucopia. Which is pretty damn good. Go, Cornucopia! This man has 50 health, but it's gonna go down very fast. We got the great Jukini, and we got, got... No, not Sunflower! Not Sunflower, please! No, I want... Okay, we have enough cards. In fact, I should probably spend this now that we can. This is gonna be our last chance to play this thing. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're setting up for the Espresso next turn. We should be good to go. We gotta get rid of some memes as soon as humanly possible. <laughs> Look at this. When play do two damage to the zombie here for each plant. Oh, if we have board space, that would be nice. 
Appliance here next to Gorgia, 3-3. Three, three. Mm, that'll be fun. That'll be a nice combo. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, it transforms his hand into goats. I forgot. Transform all zombies on the field and in hand to goats with no abilities. It feels so bad. Hey, can we field clear him first? Oh, that is so weird. That's like so what we're doing. Here, look. We gotta give him... We have to do this. So let him with that. First, we gotta clear the board. Then, <laughs> espresso fiesta time. Go! Attack! This <laughs> guy's so dead. Set your hero to 20. Oh, great. Okay, good. Why did it kill everything? That is such bullshit! Why did it kill him? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? It just clears the whole field when he plays that. When he de-mechs, it explodes. It's like the, the, the exploding mech from, from, from Diva Bomb the entire field to make an Overwatch reference. Come on, man! That's so stupid, bro! What the fuck am I supposed to do? He's gonna clear my field when I play Cornucopia. That's what's gonna happen. I can't even play Cornucopia. I can play it the next two turns. That is such garbage. That is such garbage. Come on, man. So now what? Okay, hold on. Do two damage to the zombie here for each plant. So if we set up, well, a not worth it. All right, I'm just gonna cornucopia next turn here. Let's play this card. Go. <laughs> we'll absorb some removal. What did he do? He killed that. It's fine. Guys, I have cornucopia for the next two years. It's fine. Everything is gonna be okay. I, he's gonna play some stupid superpowers again that's gonna clear my field. I can just smell it. Go! Yeah, we got frog, we got dragons. Now his, his tricks cost eight more, so he can play one card here. Watch this one card just gonna flip the board again. Watch this. Do six damage to one and three to all others. Okay, that's actually not so consequential. Because this one doesn't even die. That one died. It did three to all others several times? Bruh. Bruh. Okay. Bam. Back row. That's good. Heal your hero for town. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, Cornucopia! Once again, go! So we got two complete pieces of garbage. <laughs> I really would like this to live. So maybe we should spend a kernel pull here. I can also, like, a plant is three bonus attacks. Jeez, that's a lot of damage. That's like nine, nine, nine. Wait, this one does more. This one does 12. Oh yeah, we're definitely doing that. Okay, so the first one is 12, and then 15, <laughs> and then 15 more. <laughs> Don't do something stupid, though. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know what it said. It's going too fast. All plants take one damage eight times. Great. Great. Really fair. Really fair, Ben. He's at 50 health again. <laughs> 
so hard. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Okay, this is still winnable. Still winnable, guys. Still winnable. We're, we're going to have to do something with these Sonic Blooms. I feel like we don't have... I mean, we can set up a really big board here. That's what we'll do. Okay, so as many team-ups as possible. Okay, let's set up the board. So it's 7, 10, 12. That's it. Maybe I'll, I'll do it on... I won't do it on the chopper. I'll do it on one of these and stuff. Okay, so let's do this. Start with this and see what we get. Gosh, it's not what I needed. Oh. <laughs> I give him. Um, get him, get him, get him. Give him one of these. I'm not really calculating this very well, but I think it's like this. Let's see if we can clear this board. Let's do the Sonic Blooms like later. Alright, that was pretty good. Do three damage to all plants. Great. Everything lives. Do three damage again. I mean, what am I supposed to do against this guy? So stupid. Come on. We need more cornucopiums. Plant evolution. This gets 3 1. Oh. Okay. I have no idea what that is. I know this is deadly. I I'm going to have to, like, in case we can go 5. Are you a flower? Oh, no. Not even close. We're gonna go seven, one, and five. Maybe that'll do something. When revealed. Ah, <laughs> you're dead, idiot. <laughs> Die. <laughs> I start eternal plants here, get one one. So we'll do that to the We'll do that to the to the I don't know. We'll do that to this. This makes potato mines, right? Your rolling stones that one. When everything's OP, nothing's OP, but... This doesn't do any damage, though. What's the point of this? <laughs> Complete trash. It's growing, who cares? <laughs> this Chomzilla card is not getting it done. Not getting it done. <laughs> I don't know. He can't do damage, though. What's the point of it? He can't any damage it's not doing anything these garden warfare two cards suck big doo-doo spike weed sector Unlo they make unlimited spike weed though so that's good this one keeps growing I don't, just, I don't know who cares no one asked no one even asked okay it'll it'll protect the, the it'll protect this see here the, your new job chomper is to protect this card make sure it never dies ever 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 Go, attack! Yes, he has no more superpower, no more blocks! The guy can't do suit, can't do anything! Plus, I think this lane is growing every turn, so we're gonna get more strike through. Look at this! Look at that! More spike weed! Because no one cares! <laughs> Gotta redo the animation, it's very important. Okay, at a certain point, these are gonna be lethal, so... Again, right now, it's gonna be 8 damage, including itself. This will be 10. Should we calculate how much damage this does? We have 5 in the field, so this will be 12 and 14. So it's 26 right now, that's not a... We're just gonna save for the combo, okay. Here's... <laughs> We're doing 8, it's something. It's something, guys. <laughs> this game, though, man, I think we're gonna pull it off. More spike weed. Flamenco. Who cares? This is gonna take five damage anyway. I don't know why he played it in there. So again, this is 14 plus 16, which is 30. So this this could win. I think I'm gonna save it for a little bit more guaranteed. We'll do it next turn. Three damage. Who cares? Make random zombie three lanes. God damn. God damn. Okay, and he made flag zombie and he made undying pharaoh. Oh, and he made disco trons. So every single time he dino roars, it fills, fill, fills the field again, so that's nice. Plan and its copies get two, too. Uh, I think we're gonna buff this one so we can actually go face. 
Wait, but do we have to kill this card? Your hero's health can't go below. Okay, so now we have to find a way to kill this. Oh my gosh, we need squash very badly. This is gonna do so much damage, though. No, 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 stop. We gooped. We're gooping things. Oh, it killed them. The goop did something, guys. Look, goop. Goop, what goop does... What goop does... I can't really grab this card, but it basically kills zombies that aren't gargantuars. So we actually did something. I think we're gonna win now. I think we got this, boys. I think we got him. I think we got him. Oh, yeah, we got him. Oh, you, you, you better bet. You better bet we got him. Give him one of these. We'll give him one of these. We'll give him that. <laughs> yes, 14 and 16. Get wrecked. We finally won the game. It's a miracle. <laughs> oh, that game took so long. I think I gotta put that on YouTube. That was a, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> it's going on YouTube, I don't care. Ah, we're five and two. That was game seven. Holy crap. Holy guys, we're in a seven and two guys, you guys got we got some subscribers here in the chat. No one's subscribed, huh? No one's got the emote. No, we got the emotes. We're in a seven and two scenario. You guys know what this means. If we win this game, we win we win the whole thing. And if not, it's gonna be a no. What are the bets? Check the bets, guys. 54% on yes, 46 on no. We need a leap. We need a leap. Thank you, Hector the third, the third. Welcome to the family. It's the great, great, great grandson of Hector. I don't know. Of Hector the first. Okay. Got a ramp. Should I keep the espresso? <laughs> I <laughs> PTSD after last game. I think I don't keep this in my stuff. Okay, that's fate. I feel like the cosmic flower has been kind of carrying us. It gave us the wind condition that game. It's been keeping us in the game with all the deadly conjures. <clears throat> okay, well, we'll play this. Let's see what happens. <laughs> he used that on one drop. I think that's a win. He used chop on a one. Come on, Cabbage Pull. That's good enough. <laughs> he probably will not have an answer to this. Yes! So we get the huge ramp. Huge! <laughs> Definitely need it, though. So again, all plants here get 1-1 one, one start a turn. Um, I think protecting this... So right now it's turn 4. Turn 5... We're gonna have 10. I don't even need to protect it, actually. We're just gonna make put Cornucopia right here. All zombies get healed for 3 and 3-3 three, three at the start of every turn. That's fine. Do I look like I care? Yeah, uh, we should be able to win this one pretty easily. It's a 7-7, seven, seven, but... Oh no, wait! Oh no, we're only at 9! I'm stupid. Okay, well, we can do this. Go, sunflower guy. Okay. So this makes tricks cost more. That's pretty good. Environment. I think we're going to give him one of these. And we'll give him one of these so we can't play any tricks this turn. I think we're in good shape. Should be able to, yes. Can't play tricks. Okay, now we got the cornucopia going. We have uh, cornucopia. We'll make two guys. Pretty good. I'm playing safe. We'll have the espresso. We gotta protect this. I don't know if we play Cornucopia 1 if this gets protected, so I'll just take this in front. Hey, what is this? Only works if there's a water lane. Make a random plant in the water. When a plant is played in the water, transform all plants into a random plant that costs one more. Uh, this is this thing. This used to be called Petal Morbius. All plans. I think this is just gonna keep going and going, though. You guys ready for the grand finale? <laughs> the grand finale of PBZ Heroes right here, guys. Y'all ready for this? Grab some popcorn. <laughs> so it makes a plan in the water. I don't know why it created so many plants, but yeah, it just transforms them. Oh, look, it made another plant. Oh, look. There's more plants in the water now. <laughs> 
Ah. Yeah, this will probably win the game right here. We got Zayman, so we spawned a, a tenth a tenth zombie. Our hands is full. Again, go! I think this just keeps going until you get like active abilities that kill the opponent. So we're basically looking for Sonic Bloom. Uh, make a sappy place? Sure, why not? Oh no, the game's gonna freeze? Come on, you can do a game. <laughs> yeah, his hand turned into goats. That's nice. It's a nice touch. His hands turned into goats three more times. That's fun. He lost all of his brains for the rest of the game. Why is everything kind of weak? What are the chances of getting five kernel corns? Wait. Are they all turning into a card? Oh, they keep on becoming more and more expensive. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's what happens. It actually makes each card cost more and more every single time. Here comes the great zucchini. They're all going to turn into cornucopias eventually. Every card... I, I don't really know how that works, but I'll take it. We have 100 health. <laughs> and then he comes in with Sloth Buckler. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, can we please not win this turn? Come on. Roll high. Roll high. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do two damage to my own guy. Why not? Come on, we gotta get... This is gonna be the Espresso Fiesta to end all Espresso Fiestas. Guys! Hold on, but I don't think we have 10 sun, though, because we ran... God damn, it's only turn 6! It's only turn 6! There's nothing we can do, <laughs> never mind. The most anticlimactic event in the history of PUZ Heroes. <laughs> we couldn't even express in this field. It won too fast. Not bad for turn six though, I gotta say. Not bad at all. The circle of life. <laughs> Alright guys, 6 and 2, we won the best, we did it, we got them, just barely, just, just barely. Hope you guys enjoyed, that was the Corn Espresso Siesta deck, I don't know why I named it that. Hope you guys enjoyed, that was an amazing stream, I will see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video, you guys know all this stuff, ring the bell, I don't know, just every time I post a video, make your phone make a noise, okay? That's what you gotta do. That's important for your quality of life. I'll see you in the next video. Peace and subscribe. <laughs>